Hey guys, Jim here. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I really don't do a lot of fixed blade videos. Matter of fact, I think I've only uploaded maybe two uh, in this entire history of the channel. But I do want to get this one uh, done and out of the way because it's a sweet ass little knife. You will be seeing more fixed blade videos from me. I actually have a pretty decent collection now uh, of custom fixed blades and I love them a lot. I just never really sit down and take the time to do it, but I am going to change that. So we're going to start here with this little guy. This is going to be uh, offered exclusively through Mastrop. This is the Millet Knives Slimline. This is an awesome little EDC knife. and. You know, a lot of times we take the term EDC for granted, but they really did create something here that is very, very EDC friendly, meaning it's very slim, it's very lightweight, it's very ergonomic, and it's got a great blade shape that can be used for pretty much any cutting task that may come your way uh, during any normal day. It's compact enough that you can carry it easily. It's not going to encumber you in any way. And, you know, what good is a knife if you're not going to carry it? And I've gone through that. I've had some big-ass knives made for me, uh, both in folders and in fixed blades. And uh, while they were really, really great, I, I didn't really carry them all that much. And I wasn't feeling the enjoyment out of them. Now, that's also when we're talking about a much more expensive knife as well. This is going to be very, very, very affordable. Uh, for those that don't know how Mass Drop works, let's just get that out of the way right away. They get the item up, and for every person that dogpiles on and commits to making a purchase, the price gets driven down lower to whatever the lowest price is that they can possibly get to. So I can't really quote the direct price right now, but it is going to be very, very, very affordable because even the ones coming directly from Millet that are going to be available are already pretty affordable. Mass Drop is just going to be a lot lower. So if you are a fan of the OD Green G10, that is the only way that you're going to be able to get this. Now, if you are a uh, real knife guy and you're looking at this going, man, that looks really, really, really familiar. Uh, that's because this is based off of an original Grant and Gavin Hawk design called the Pony. Now, the difference with the Pony was it had very, 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 I mean, very thick handles on that little blade. So what they've done here is they have, as the name would imply, they have streamlined it and slimmed it down. So now you've got something that just disappears in your hand. And you would think for a knife this tiny that it would be too small. Uh, and I mentioned this before, I wear a size large glove, so it's not like I have tiny hands, I don't have giant hands either. But you see the way that it drops right into my hand, letting my pinky fall right behind the butt. You've got a nice little thumb ramp here so your thumb has a place to rest comfortably and you've got plenty, plenty of blade on this little knife to do your small cutting tasks. Now what you're looking at here is a CPM 154 and this is done in their signature CNC hollow grind. If you go back just a couple of years, um, one of the ways that you could tell if a custom knife maker was doing true custom hand grinds himself or having stuff uh, CNC'd and water jet and all that kind of good stuff was if they did a hollow grind. Hollow grind really outside of one place didn't happen off of a machine. It really had to be done by hand. Well, they do it by machine and they do it flawlessly. You'll also notice a really robust stone wash pattern. And that also may look familiar to you because this particular I don't, I don't want to call it a high contrast, but it's, it's a very visible stone wash. Uh, that obviously is going to remind you of Chris Reeve Knives. Well, that's where Shane and his main crew from Millet Knives comes from. They studied under Chris. They learned all the machines that uh, Chris had at his disposal. And for those of you who don't know, that is a massive, massive workshop. And that's where they really got their disciplines from. So they know all about quality, consistency, and proper fit and finish. And also, how to do a really nice, clean stone wash. One of the interesting little touches on this that I didn't expect until I pulled it out is the fact that it has a crowned blade spine. I just never would have thought about this on such an inexpensive and tiny little knife that they would take the time to crown the spine. So it's not just a flat spine, they've crowned it very, very nicely. All around, 
it's a really, really nice, lightweight little knife. You're going to get a Kydex sheath. And, of course, you can um, set this up to a few different ways that you want to carry it, just by removing these screws and altering in the position of the clip however you'd like. But it locks in with authority. It's not going to come flying out on you. So even if you just want to run a lanyard through here and carry it as a neck knife, this is actually, it's a little, I mean, really not. It's, it's, it's on the large side for a neck knife, but it's not too big for a neck knife. You could certainly just take the clip off of there, uh, run your uh, paracord through there, tie it behind your neck, and boom, you're done. Or a, uh, a ball chain. It comes out nice and easily, as long as you get it in there, boom. Super simple, super easy, great edge on this, by the way. Let me kind of show you in the light here. Nice, clean sharpening, nice mirror edge on there. I did a couple little test cuts earlier just to see how sharp it was. Very, very sharp. And it's got a really noticeable tip to it. So even if you have to uh, poke into something, you have to uh, really use that tip. CPM 154 is a great steel all the way around. It's really easy to sharpen. It's going to be easy to strop and keep sharp. So this is the kind of knife that you're not going to be afraid to use. And, and that's what's really important um, in this price range and uh, for this type of knife. It is designed for EDC. It is designed to carry all the time. And you could even invest a couple more dollars if you wanted to, if you happen to know a custom uh, sheath maker, and make yourself a little pocket sheath. And you could carry this around in your pocket if you wanted to. One other thing I just noticed as the light hit it just right there is the G&G Hawk name engraved into the uh, steel right there. Nice G10 work, nice milling, it's comfortable, it's not sharp, the checkering there isn't sharp at all, uh, but it does give you a good degree of tactility. Show you that blade once again up close. i tell you one thing man, I have been loving the EDC community over in Mass Drop. They have been getting in some really, really cool things uh, from flashlights to, uh, to knives and all kinds of other great stuff. So if you're not signed up at Mass Drop yet, even if you're not going to buy this, go sign up and check out what they get because you can also suggest things to them. If you saw something as you're scrolling through and it was something that sold out a month or two ago, you're like, oh crap, I would have bought that if I would have known that was here. You can click to request it, and when enough people request it, they'll bring it back, as long as it's available. So it's a neat little system, great stuff out there. And they don't have just the EDC community. I mean, there's, there's a, a watch community, and there's uh, clothing and, and uh, apparel, I guess is what you would, uh, should really call that. <laughs> um, all kinds of really cool stuff. So uh, definitely check them out. And uh, whether this knife is for you or not, you should check out Millet Knives over on Instagram. Uh, also, of course, uh, Hawk Knives, which is Grant and Gavin Hawk, Hawk Knives on Instagram. And just kind of see some of the neat shit that they're doing. This is the very first uh, exclusively made by them for them fixed blade that Millet has done. Because what they do is they're a full service OEM knife manufacturer. So um, they specialize in manufacturing high quality production knives. Now, you can either do it uh, piece by piece. If, if you, Let's say you came up with a knife design. You wanted to make your own run of production knives. Let's say you wanted to make a thousand knives. You could have them do pieces and parts, like your water jet, the surface grinding, CNC machining, heat treatment, uh, the CNC hollow grinding, sharpening. Or you can have them build the knife from the beginning, which includes them doing the renderings. You could literally... Now, I'm not telling you to do this to waste their time. I mean, you have to have, obviously, the, the, the financial means, the capital in which to invest in doing a big production run. So, you know, figure thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 for an average price knife. Um, all you, you could s simply give them a hand sketch and tell them what you're looking for. They could even go as far down in the chain as doing the original product rendering. They could do the rendering, go back and forth with you, and create the knife from that inception all the way out to full-out production, packaging, and everything. So they are kind of like a one-stop shop, and they're like the industry's uh, little gem, little secret. Not so much a secret anymore, but 
they really do some fantastic work and I, I can tell you right now um, that when the time comes that I make my first production knife design that is the one and only place that I'm going. Uh, I've had a chance to meet Shane, I've had a chance to shake his hand, hang out with him, uh, talk to him about knives, sample a lot of their products. I own a couple of knives that they've manufactured and uh, I could not be more impressed with the individual, uh, the individuals in his shop and their methodology behind their manufacturing. So honestly, that, that's a bit more than you probably needed to know for an inexpensive EDC fixed blade but it is important for you to know so that you can keep an eye out for them and see what they have coming in the future and uh, hopefully they'll be doing some more deals with Mastrop because again I think that's a a wonderful system for us as consumers to get really good prices so I'm thankful for that but uh, no matter where they choose to distribute keep your eyes out whether it be folders or fixed blades they're going to be doing some really, really cool things. They've already done some very cool things, and uh, they're definitely guys to, uh, to keep your eyes on. For now, I'm going to uh, go ahead and hop out of here, make this a somewhat short video for me, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Go check out Mass Drop in the description below. There's going to be a link, so all you got to do is click that. It'll take you right to the drop where you can buy this if you are interested. Until then, I'll see you guys on the next video.